Hey all, JTC here, and welcome back to another user submitted gameplay review. Today's gameplay is submitted by Elon, who's going to be doing some true solo battle wizard for us. In front of us is the build that they're going to be using, and it is a pretty normal battle wizard build, but I did have some things I wanted to comment on. First, you are running Shrapnel, which is not a bad trait option, but in this specific case, I would actually recommend um, Bombardier. And that's because, if you think about it, Basil Battle Wizard is the damage over time queen. However, Battle Wizard does lack burst damage, massive burst damage, and really the only only way that you can uh, fill in that gap, that weakness in a true solo match is with normal bombs. Uh, Bombardier allows you the chance of being able to get more bang for your buck with a single bomb because there is no guarantee that you're going to get multiple bombs in a run. You might only have one. And because of that, uh, Bombardier is going to help you get more use out of that single bomb. Um, the other thing that I wanted to talk about is uh, Ray Channel and Fires from Ash. Now, usually a uh, Soot Shield for the level 25 row is the quote-unquote meta. However, you can actually make an argument against it and for Fires from Ash if you don't feel like you need Soot Shield. And in your gameplay, you were perfectly fine, so I'm not concerned about this. Uh, however... Rechannel with um, Coruscation Staff is actually a really, really bad talent. It doesn't synergize at all because you don't need to charge Coruscation Staff. All you need to do is finger roll, which is the tap right click, tap left click, rinse and repeat. And there is no reason to ever charge uh, Coruscation Staff, so this is just a dead talent. Instead, you want Unusually Calm because that's going to allow you just to simply cast more and therefore get out more DPS. Anyone? So in this uh, instance, I can feel your dilemma coming through the screen. Do you either take the fire bomb or do you take the regular bomb? Now, usually I would agree that you should take the fire bomb in this case because Sienna is the dot queen and it fits her really well. However, in this instance, I think it would have been better for you to take the regular bomb and not immediately chuck it at these enemies and waste it. Why? Because remember, you're playing true solo in this instance. Usually it's fine to stick with, you know, the damage over time effects on Sienna because you have other people to burst things down for you. However, you don't have anyone like that, so you're completely on your own. And there might be a, an instance or a case where you're going to have to immediately kill a disabler to save yourself, or you're going to need to get some, like, massive damage on armored um, in a really short second, or in a really short time frame. And you cannot do that with a dot build on Sienna just period end of story when you're playing battle wizard so because of that you need some kind of you know immediate burst damage and because of that i would have recommended in this case keeping the regular bomb and chucking the firebomb So I just wanted to say that this is how you deal with super armor when you're playing with Fire Sword Coruscation Staff. So because uh, Fire Sword has such low damage to begin with, you can't really hit them with a hit super armor with it because you're just going to tickle them. So what you should do is you should uh, just put a bunch of Coruscation Staff uh, fire things at their uh, feet and just let the Coruscation Staff burn them because that's going to be your highest DPS. However, of course, super armor is going to move around a lot, but the claw swipe of the uh, fire sword has really, really high stagger. And because of that, the best way to deal with super armor is to basically just spam the claw attack to keep them stun locked inside of this uh, guy, this fire geyser. And this is, you handle this chaos warrior perfectly. Realistically, it's really the best way to deal with pretty much anything. Just throw down a bunch of geysers everywhere and just keep everything stun locked in it with um, fire swords claw attack. But this is especially true for chaos warriors and anything really super armor or anything armored really because you have no other way to quickly take care of them. So I just want to say here that teleporting at your feet to stagger using burnout is risky. Um, it's not at all risky with Kaboom because of the widely increased stagger range and power of Kaboom. But when it comes to burnout, it's not that great. So telling, teleporting at your feet can absolutely be risky because it might not stagger what you think it's going to stagger and you could get overheaded, disabled, stabbed, etc, cetera, etc. Cetera, which is why it's usually better to instead of teleporting at your feet double teleport 
So just basically spam F to teleport and then immediately hit F again to teleport basically double the distance and let the damage over time effect kill whatever you were trying to get away from. Because, um, especially if you're running Famished Flames, <coughs> these, uh, fire trails that she leaves actually do not do bad damage. And especially, like, if the enemies continuously walk through them, they're actually going to die really, really quickly. No! <laughs> So I know what I just said that um, keeping enemies inside of the geysers is the best way to deal with them. And that is true, especially when they're in groups. But whenever you have a lone um, non-heavy uh, non armored unit, such as a storm vermin or a mauler, it's actually better to just shotgun uh, that unit down because the shotgun is going to absolutely shred them. Um, I think it's basically guaranteed they're going to die in two shotgun shots, and that would have saved you a lot of time uh, to prepare for this horde instead of having to waste so much time waiting for him to die to the geyser. And on top of that, your temp HP generation as, um, as, um, oh my god, what's this, Battle Wizard? Your temp HP generation as Battle Wizard is so insane that you can absolutely handle, um, building your overcharge and then venting it because you're just going to build all of that temp HP back really, really fast. So this would have been a perfect situation to immediately teleport to the troll, uh, just boom, boom, double teleport, and then basically just use all of your resources to burst the troll down. Because um, I'm not going to show the rest of this fight in this video because it's really, really long, but the problem with this fight was the fact that it was really, really long. You fought this vile troll for probably five minutes straight, and that is way, way too long for a boss to be alive, especially on someone like Battle wizard if you had pushed up at this moment and basically just uh unloaded on this troll with your bomb and coruscation and then drank your uh, purple pot you could have shredded this boss and probably killed him in less than two minutes instead of five minutes Inside. All I wanted to say here was good bomb. Uh, mixed hordes suck, especially as battle wizards, so anything that can help you deal with them a little better is always good. So here, all I want to say is if you're using Burnout and you teleport a single time, always, always, always teleport a second time, even if you don't need it, just to get the cooldown ticking faster. Because in this instance, you did not use your second uh, charge of Burnout, which um, basically all that did was increase the cooldown by 10 seconds. Because in these 10 seconds, when you have that second teleport of burnout, you're not gaining any extra ult charge. So all that does is add extra time in between now and the next time you can teleport. So even if you don't need it, just burn that second teleport to get the uh, cooldown ticking faster. Once again, thanks to Elon for submitting this gameplay for review. If you'd like to submit your own gameplay for review, be sure to join the Discord using the link down in the description below and check out the Gameplay Review Submission channel for instructions on how to do so. See y'all next time!